hello you guys welcome back to my channel and if you guys are new here welcome and today i'm going to do another reaction to the real housewives of potomac season seven episode number six i'm finally caught up you guys episode number seven comes out tonight cannot wait we finally i actually did it thank god literally in a couple of days editing all these videos but first you guys know i pick a comment from last video and the comment that i chose today was giselle has come for every couple every season first it was karen then it was ashley then monique last season it was wendy and this one it is candace at this point it is tired and played out okay i know that's right let me know what you guys think about this episode down in the comment section below this should be juicy the girls seem like like they're ramping up to get to Miami so we're gonna see how this goes and all of my social media is gonna be linked down in the description box below as well as my patreon and my website and if you guys want to join my YouTube membership family just click the join button right next to my name underneath this video and you guys please give this video a thumbs up because a thumbs up goes a very long way it just pushes all of my content out to the masses and just really for the algorithm and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know exactly when I upload and without further ado let's get ready to react to episode number Six. Like to leave you, do, do you want to go you, to a man named How <laughs> and suck his dick? Oh. You know what? Call the police. I'm done. I'm over it. She done killed the lady. Woo! Wow. The girls are angry. You know what? <gasps> wow. See, I don't like that. That's my, that, that. She's talking about her being a fake friend and all that stuff. She's being that one too. She's being a fake friend too. Not we know the Lord, girl. <laughs> Don't, don't, you shouldn't have brought it in front, you shouldn't have brought it, that up in front of nobody. Besides Candace. No, girl, no. No, Miss Ashley, no. The way you did that was wrong. And so I asked him to go outside. And he immediately did. That's it. And I thought you should know. So you're saying that he, because he said that he asked you to talk. And you suggested that you go no. to your room. I said Giselle can we talk. Girl, said, this is see, see this is where the <sighs> not It's not gonna get solved, honey. She's gonna she's not gonna budge, he's not gonna budge. It is what it is. Malintent for you to say, well, Chris knew that no one was in the room and he still lured me. I say Lord if that's the intent. No, she didn't say Lord. I do not want to be in the room with a married man. Yeah, that's all she's saying. She's not even in, she's not even insinuating that he had negative. He had, he was intentionally trying to make her uncomfortable or doing something wrong. She just didn't like to be in the room with him, and she has every right to feel that way. I'm not good at sitting on those things. I feel that it was important to tell her. You Girl, called me. you are the reason that people cannot come forward with sexual assault allegations. Because you say things Ooh. that have no basis and no value. If anything, I'm being an advocate for women to come forward with their truth. Because I ain't lying. With the, she's coming forward uh, with, the, with, the, with her feelings about it. Okay. She, could, she is telling the truth with that. You really made a good effort. Aww. You really did. Oh, thank you. Yeah. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. Okay, girl. You know those lines too well, honey. You see how that ended. How damaging what she is saying is. He is an evil and that's where the issue is too. Giselle needs to understand that it can, it's, it's a very hurtful thing to say about somebody else's family and it can really break them apart. If I'm expecting that it's gonna be great and we're gonna be respectful of each other, I think that the reality of the situation is that things could go awry. Yeah, girl, protect yourself, girl. So the only issue is you have to know whether you can trust him. Don't trust him. I'm stalling. Let's just be real. Yeah, girl, I'm you're st totally stalling, girl. Change. That doesn't make no I'm sense to me. Buying a house together at this point would probably not be the best. No, of course step. not. I do a lot of Googling. Hey, okay. talking to you. Hey, Google. They just don't look there. I need to get my degree on Google. So. Nah. <laughs> okay, girl. I used to read with two eyes and two eyes. Is this a vibe? <laughs> okay, girl. Well, I'm glad you like her. 
we fight like sisters. We make up like sisters. Like, mm-hmm. we don't really know that. Because you always people. hear, like, you know, people that are adopted or with their foster parents right. don't have good experiences. Good and I'm great okay. to see that this is a good one. So I need you ladies to get ready because we're going to go down to the MIA. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Miami. Miami. Okay, that's cute. Work out, Miss Mia. Trina is in Miami. I need to get this deal sealed with Trina. Okay, hit two birds with one stone. I see that. I know that's right. I got you for your birthday, girl. We're going to have a good time. Don't make me regret it, man. Miss Carrie, girl. You'll be fine, Miss Carrie, girl. It don't, that don't sound right. That don't sound right already. Well, that's good. She's out of the hospital. It's a financial investment. Yeah. And it's going to put a big strain on your finances. It is too much. You got a full plate. You need to cool out. You know what? I'm not going to lie. Okay. Take his input in, girl. If I'm being, I love Miami. I'm not passing up on a girl's trip. No. They will deal. I will be there. Y'all later. Girl, I hope you're ready, Miss Wendy. <laughs> Yep. Um, I, don't, Candace and I need to discuss her husband in these tweets. Well, I talked to her about that. What tweets? He was pissed. Like, he got really hurt. Oh, so he's tweeting and stuff. Honey, Chris, relax, calm down. Just, you don't have to go this route. You know, you're a grown, grown man. Pay it. Oh, he's flipping it on her. Oh, so she lied. I did talk to an attorney about it. She advised against it. Oh, so did we make a little more sense? Girl, exactly. We all was telling you no, girl. What are you doing? Do you want to go to a man named house and suck his dick? Ooh, we. That was a lot to take in. She told her years ago. These girls held on to that secret and didn't tell her. Me neither. Girl, there are a couple of um, husbands on these housewife franchises do that. Okay, relax. Oh, weird. That's her husband, girl. What do you think she's gonna do? Girl, I'm sure he'll say the same thing about you too, girl. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. You're right, Miss Mia. Just get them out of, bring them some new weather. You're right. <laughs> No, you know what, Miss Cameron? You're trying it. Because she's up in this airport doing tiki tockies. <laughs> girl, Wendy, just go have fun, girl. Just don't be so, so serious, okay? Analytical, please. <laughs> they go okay. gag, baby. You know what? None of them are younger. I would like a little young boy. <laughs> not a young girl. You're not supposed to say young boy, honey. We on national television, girl. People can inter- in- okay. interpret that in many ways. A young man. We're in a residential area. Across the street is someone crying. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Wendy, girl. <laughs> Just sit back and relax, girl. Enjoy yourself, girl. Make the best of it. Girl, they're going to be angry. I love it. it looks cute. It looks cute. It's a good house. It's just not enough bedrooms. <laughs> not South Bend. <laughs> Ooh. 
The girls can never be too satisfied. Oh, relax, girl. Don't get her in trouble. I I can't. Girl, how is this gonna happen? Oh, she doesn't have a bathroom, girl. That is one. That is the first thing I would think about. Girl, Wendy got a bathroom. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm not mad about that. Y'all both the green-eyed bandits. That's why. Yeah, that bathroom is essential, honey. Did they? Oh, is Candace with Miss Ashley? Damn. Oh, okay. So she's staying with Wendy. Damn, that's messed up. I thought Wendy got a good deal, but she apparently didn't. Girl, she gonna gag, honey. Look at Miss Ashley. Girl, just a mess. Well, it's her birthday weekend. Not cheers to the hose. I can't. I need my accommodation. I think I'm a five pass dinner. Girl, she's over not having a restroom. I would be too, though. No shade. So I got Giselle, I got Robin, and I got Wendy. Oh, not beef. Why? They were just partners. All right, you guys, that is the end of my reaction to The Real Housewives of Potomac, season seven, episode number six. Um, let me know what you guys think about this episode down in the comment section below. What would, you, How would you guys react with this whole house situation? I wanna know everything. Um, whose side do you think makes the most sense? Um, who is honestly overblowing and overdoing it and really making it a, a bigger deal than what it is? And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And obviously, please give this video a thumbs up because a thumbs up goes a very long way you guys all of my social medias my website and my patreon are going to be linked down in the description box below so make sure you guys go check that out and if you guys want to join my youtube membership family just click the join button right next to my name underneath this video so you can have access to special custom created emojis and like always you guys life is your vision it is whatever you make it as long as you make it freaking fabulous until the next one bye